Hey guys, welcome back to The Opulence. So today I'm doing episode five of my Harry Styles boot series where I do makeup looks inspired by his boots. So in case you've missed any of the episodes I've done, I've made a playlist on my channel, so feel free to go to it. I've done the tan ones, the um, cowboy boots with the blue and red. I've done like a lot of them, so feel free to check it out. And also remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other looks that I'm doing. So the boots I'm doing today are the ones he wore on the Made in the AM photo shoot. So it's these ones right here. So this is the picture, okay? And then I'm going to zoom in. And these are the boots. So they've got silver and they, yeah, they're basically silver. I love them. They're literally so beautiful. And I just wish he would wear them again. Like, I don't think he's ever worn these again. So Harry, if you see this, please, please wear these boots again. I speak on the behalf of all the Harrys everywhere. Please wear them again. They're beautiful. Anyways, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first shade I'm going to be using today is from the H&M Smoky Black Eyeshadow Palette. I got this for $2. $2, people! And the colors are super pigmented and they I love this. So the color I'm going to be using for today's look is um, this middle color right here. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. And the, bl uh, the brush I'm using today is also from H&M. And it's not called anything, it's just like this. And honestly, H&M's products are so underrated. Like, I know everyone wears their clothes. Like, I'm like an H&M commercial today. They did not pay me, I promise. But, like, this jacket's from H&M, too. So, I don't know, I just thought I'd throw that out there. So, anyways, I'm going to put this color all over my lid. And I'm going to blend that in with a blending brush, which is not from H&M. <laughs> Up next, from that same palette, I'm going to be using this color right here, which is like a darker gray. And I'm going to put that right in the corner of the eye, and then I'm going to blend it. So, pop it right in the corner. And then take a blending brush and blend it out. And then add a little bit more to your liking. Feel free to do this um, any which way you like it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some glitter and I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild glitter in um, Bleached and it looks like this. So on its own it looks basically just like his boots but then if I just put this on my lid it would be a boring look and we don't want that. So I'm going to be taking this glitter and putting it all over, literally all over my eye. So just pop some on your finger. And then press it down. If you rub it, it's going to take away basically your eyeshadow that we just put on. So just when you take your finger, rub it around. And you'll find that this one gets sticky the second you kind of rub it around, which is kind of the whole point. And then just press it into your eyelid. So right now we've got little hints of glitter, and to elevate it, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild. It's the same collection, but I'm going to be taking it in Spiked. It's really a solid silver color, and I'm going to be taking it on a brush and putting it right in the corner of my eye. So just run it around, uh, along the bottom corner of your eye. Up next, I'm going to be taking the Revlon Color Stay Black Eyeliner and lining my um, bottom, bottom waterline. Then I'm going to be taking that same liner and lining my top, uh, the top of my eye, but I'm going to smudge it out. So just put it, really roughly put it, and then you're going to take this on the bo like bottom of the eyeliner. It's got a little smudger, and then just smudge it up. So to this, I'm going to add some studs, and I'm going to be taking the Cristazzi studs, which I got from Michaels. They look like this. Um, they don't have glue already in the back, so be sure you don't get any that already have glue on it. And then um, I'm going to be taking eyelash glue and popping those on, and I'm going to be taking the Duo eyelash glue. It actually helps a lot if you put glue on the back of your hand and then take some tweezers and then just dip it right in. So just like that. So now that I've dipped it in the glue, I just wait for it to dry up a little bit so the glue gets tacky and I can actually stick it on. 
And I'm going to stick these right in the corner of my eye. Okay, so now that I've got four studs on each side, just like this, I'm going to be taking some mascara, and I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, it looks like this, and putting that on my lashes. So this is what we've got with the lashes. The lashes really brings it together, otherwise it looks like it's just like weird. And you can always add fake lashes, but make sure you put on the fake lashes before you put on the studs. Because that's just going to get tricky and messy. But yeah, it looks like this so far. And I'm just going to take just a little bit more glitter. Because I feel like it would look prettier with just a little bit more glitter on the bottom part. There we go. So now I'm going to be adding some mascara on my bottom lashes. Which is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. And just put that on your bottom lashes. Alright, so this is the finished look inspired by Harry's Boots. It looks like this. And let me give you a close-up of the boots and this look side by side. So these are the boots and this is the look inspired by it. So I hope you guys enjoy this look and I will see you next time on the Opulent. Remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.